All right, everybody, the problem states, how many minutes does it take light from the sun to reach Earth? The distance from the sun to Earth is 93 million miles, and the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So this is a dimensional analysis problem where we are going to start with 93 million miles. So 93, and instead of writing six zeros, we're gonna just do times 10 to the sixth, and that is miles, mi. And we are going to convert that to some number of minutes, which is what the problem is looking for. Specifically, the amount of minutes it takes light to go from the sun to earth. So we are going to convert miles to minutes, a unit of length to a unit of time, which is not normal. We're gonna convert that using the speed of light, which is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. It gives us a relationship between meters and seconds or distance and time. So we will need to use that at some point but we are starting with miles. So we have to turn miles into something else we can use. So we wanna get rid of miles, so miles will go on the bottom of our first conversion factor. Now I can't go directly to meters because I don't know the relationship between miles and meters, but I do know the relationship between miles and kilometers. So what's the relationship between miles and kilometers? Well, one mile, equals 1.6093 kilometers. So we will put one on the bottom with miles and 1.6093 on top with kilometers. Now miles will cancel out and I'm at kilometers. From kilometers we can get to meters. So second step, kilometers goes on the bottom because we want it to cancel out and meters will go on top. Now what's the relationship between kilometers and meters? They're both just metric units, so they vary by some power of 10. It's actually 10 to the third. 10 to the third meters equals one kilometer. 10 to the third also being a thousand. So up top will be 10 to the third or a thousand, and on the bottom will be one. And now kilometers will cancel out and we are at meters, which is where we need to be because to use the speed of light, we need meters and that can get us to seconds. So our third conversion factor will be meters on the bottom and then seconds on top. And for this relationship, we will use the speed of light where 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters is for every one second. And now meters will cancel and we're left with seconds, but again, the problem wants minutes. So we need to convert seconds to minutes. Hopefully you know this relationship. For every 60 seconds, we have one minute. Now seconds cancel out and we have the unit we are looking for, which is minutes. So now we gotta plug this in our calculator. To do that, you will start with 93 times 10 to the sixth. Now we're gonna multiply by the top of each conversion factor and divide by the bottom, skipping any ones because they won't change our answer. So we will multiply by 1.6093 we will multiply by 10 to the third or 1,000. Now we wanna divide by the bottom of the third conversion factor, but we need to make sure that that all stays together. So open parentheses and then put 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, close parentheses, and then finally divide by 60, hit equals, and you should get something around 8.3147. Let's round that to two significant figures and we will end up with 8.3. So final answer, how many minutes does it take light from the sun to reach earth? That would be right around 8.3. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. 
please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.